In a recent interview, I think with Rolling Stone, J.J. Abrams was doing for um, The Rise of Skywalker, his next big movie coming up in December, he was asked about the rumors that he's also going to be doing a Superman movie, possibly for DC, you know, after The Rise of Skywalker. And he basically said, you know, no discussions about that have happened. And a lot of people are saying, well, you know, since he said no discussions have happened, that means he's saying, no, he's not doing it. But to me, saying no discussions has happened is basically the same as saying no discussions have happened yet, right? He's not saying, he didn't say no or that I'll never do it. Um, I'm thinking that means it is still a possibility that he's going to, that he's maybe going to be doing a Superman movie. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be playing in the DC sandbox and I wouldn't be surprised at all if he's doing a Superman movie eventually. Let's get into the quote exactly. I think if you were to read the quote verbatim that they put in here in this Heroic Hollywood article, it is what I said. There it is. We haven't had those discussions yet. And, you know, that's not exactly a no or, you know, in a, a definitive no. So I'm thinking it's still a possibility. And I'm thinking, you know, if he has already agreed, they don't want him to say it yet, right? Because, you know, he's caught up in the rise of Skywalker zeitgeist. They probably want to wait for all that to pass before any announcement is made about J.J. Abrams doing anything with DC. He was at the HBO Max presentation earlier this year. But even then, you know, he didn't really say I'm going to be doing anything with DC. Maybe that's because he isn't yet. But I will not be surprised at all if he, does, if he doesn't do it, if he does it eventually. Because I'm pretty sure he is. He's going to, be, he's going to have his hands in something DC. Now, the future of Superman may be muddled because of the whole Henry Cavill situation. He wants to continue playing Superman. Who knows if Warner Brothers wants him to continue it, and I think there's fights over money. Um, but, you know, if the rumors are true that the Snyder Cut's going to get released on HBO Max, that has Henry Cavill Superman in it. And if the Snyder Cut is released on HBO Max and gets a lot of views, then, you know, that'll be another appearance of the Zack Snyder version of Superman which is very different from the tone of Superman in the theatrical cut of Justice League that, you know, Henry Cavill, I think, supported. He liked that way of Superman, the way Joss Whedon wrote Superman in that movie. So there might, you know, be conflict about, you know, who's going to do another Superman movie and which direction to take with the character. You know, not just who's going to be cast as Superman, but, you know, what do we do with Superman, you know? Do we reboot the character with a new actor? Do we keep Henry Cavill? I think there's a lot of question marks surrounding the Superman character that um, Warner Brothers has yet to figure out. Or maybe they have figured it out, but they aren't telling us yet. You know, a lot of stuff happens behind the scenes and decisions are made before they are put out to the public. Um, but I would not take this news as, you know, definitive confirmation that J.J. Abrams will never do a Superman movie. Because it sounds to me like it's still possible that he could. Because all he said was, we haven't had those discussions yet, right? That doesn't sound like a hard no to me. Does it to you? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.